In Germany, where much of the uh, testing techniques that, that, that we use uh, came from, not all of them, but some from England and other places, but uh, <clears throat> they have uh, a system of medicine where the government of Germany pays for all the health care. And so at the national level, they're very concerned about the fact that they have an aging population, and that means increasing chronic health issues and much increasing uh, budget to to pay for the, the health care of that. We know that Western medicine is the most expensive health care, yet we know it's also not the most effective or efficient health care because the United States, where we spend twice as much as places like Germany, over $8,000 a year per person, we're by far, we're far, far from being the healthiest country on the planet. We're, uh, one, one score was at number 49, I think, and another in their upper 30s, 37, depending on what year you look at. But we're not in the top 10, even though we're the, at the top of the top 10 in terms of how much we spend. So spending more on the wrong things to palliate symptoms, to remove organs, it's, it doesn't make us healthier, even though it may control the symptom, control, manage the disease. It manages it for profit, and that's one of the reasons we don't have better choices available. So in Germany, where there, the government does not have a profit motive for wanting people to be sicker and spend more on health, they actually have a financial incentive to decrease their costs. They, they uh, commissioned a, a private institute in Berlin, the Berlin Microcurrent, uh, Micro, Micro uh, Circulation Institute, sorry, this is Microcurrent, Microcirculation Institute to look at, uh, there's many different technologies uh, that are non-pharmaceutical, non-drug based, that, uh, that claim to have an impact on health and performance of the body. And so with the, uh, the Berlin Micro, Microcirculation Institute, uh, they have a technology that they can visualize, they can, they can take video footage in real time of the, micro, the capillaries, the microcirculation in the body. So uh, that means that they can measure precisely the effects on circulation of the whole range of, of energy healing devices. And so they did this, and back in 2010, they found that the uh, a device called the Beamer, the bioelectromagnetic energy regulator, it's a, a mat and has some spot treatment devices as well, it's a mat you lie on, that that, that uh, signal, electromagnetic signal from that device scored the highest of all the devices that they studied and uh, on improving microcirculation. And the, they measured the effects and how long they lasted. They lasted, you know, an hour or two. They had however much, 12% or something, of, of increase in circulation. That was the, the top, of, top of the line, what existed at that time. But through that technology of being able to actually observe and measure in real time, that allowed the researchers to study the electromagnetic frequencies, the waveform that they were using in the Beamer, and to try different modifications of it and to tweak it, to, to improve it, to enhance it. So they got it to where now they can get 30% increase in microcirculation from a single eight minute session. And the after effects no longer last only an hour or so, they last 12 to 16 hours from one session. So you can fully optimize the circulation to equivalent of reversing aging effects by about 40 years in eight minutes twice a day by lying down. <laughs> and it uses a tiny, tiny amount of energy. It's, the magnetic field is, is less overall strength than the Earth's magnetic field. So it's within, well within our natural range of, of stimuli. Uh, the frequencies include the, the Schumann wave frequencies and the, the Rife frequencies go up to about a thousand hertz. It, it, it's a waveform that sweeps through that whole range. And all, again, all the waveforms they're using were specifically what worked best to optimize what's called vasomotion, or the, uh, the ability of the tiny smooth muscles in our small, uh, small uh, arterioles and venules to relax and con contract and open and close and allow the, uh, the blood to pump through. And so, uh, so now, since they've optimized that since 2010, uh, the, the new system, for example, uh, NASA now uh, 
has contracted with Beamer to uh, be able to put this technology to adapt it into future spacesuits to keep astronauts healthy in space. We knew right off in the in the space program that that the body needed some of these frequencies called the, I mentioned the Schumann frequencies that are the dominant harmonic frequencies on, in the Earth's uh, surface between the ionosphere, the conductive layer in the upper atmosphere, and the, the groundwater beneath us that's conductive, that forms a, a resonance chamber, uh, a capacitor electrically, that resonates every time there's a discharge between those capacitative plates. We have lightning and, and elves and, and sprites, they call them the upper, the lightning in the upper atmosphere above the clouds that connect to the electrical circuit that that capacitor is part of this, part of the solar system circuit that's part of the galactic circuit, that's part of the galactic cluster and supercluster circuit, that's part of the, the circuitry around, and in cosmology, these largest structures, the cells of, where we see no stars and no galaxies, these cells of uh, empty space that, uh, are the area that cosmologists identify as what's growing, where space is growing, where they say, oh, that's full of, they call it uh, dark energy. And that while in conventional physics we say energy is constant, can't be, can't be created or destroyed, the conventional model looks at the cosmos and says, energy is increasing there. Where is it coming from? <laughs> well, we don't know. <laughs> it's being created. So, so there's still much we don't know, and that's why on all these levels, and they do, they are relevant, they do relate to the human scale. It, we're, we are part of that same universe. We say universe meaning one, it's a oneness. It, it functions the same way at different scales, and that's called fractal mathematics. Thank you.